Alright guys, Grey Gaming here, and today I'm going to be telling you a story about something that actually happened Sunday. So, this is going to be while I'm playing some Sunset Overdrive. Oh, I left. And I'm just going to explain the story to you. So it starts out, I'm hanging out at a friend's house with two of my friends, and we're enjoying our time just hanging out at this playground area that she she has in her like apartment complex so we're, we're just messing around there's a few kids around us but there's this one kid and all he does is he just starts throwing wood chips at us and he's like oh you fucktards all these names and I, I have a diamondback bike it's it's not it's not the best bike it's kind of old but he started stomping on the spokes so, me, I push him off the spokes. My, uh, my friends are like, hey kid, you need to stop. And he just wouldn't stop. And when I pushed him off the bike, he started to try to fight me. He's throwing punches. He, he's just really, really wanting me to, to hit him back. So, finally, I knock him off of me. And... Pretty much, he, he, he gets upset, he throws a scooter at me. I grab a scooter, and I throw it on the roof next to us. So, this kid gets mad, he, he's telling me to get his scooter and stuff. I'm not gonna get his scooter. So, he, he goes home, me and my friends, we think we're in the good. But then the parents come. No, wait, 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 wait. He comes back, and he starts knocking on the door, and he goes, oh, give me my fucking scooter. Give me my scooter, or you're gonna be in trouble. I'm gonna... I'm gonna beat your ass, and we're not really threatened by him. We're like, oh, I'm not gonna get your scooter, bud. Like, you shouldn't have done those things. And he goes, oh, you're gonna pay for that. So pretty much what he does is he he goes home. We're like, God, we're glad that's over. But then his dad he knocks on the door really loud, and his, his mom was there also. She. She was she was not happy that I had assaulted her son by pushing him off of me. And she she pretty much just yelling at me, swearing. And my friend's mom who was there, she's she's just pretty much saying, You need you need to keep down, my son is here, he's very young. And she the the mom, she's she's not being very nice. She's just in there swearing and my friend's mom is just having such a hard time. And pretty much, they uh, they start swearing at us, and she tells her husband to call the cops. So, after arguing with them for probably 15 minutes of them pretty much bitching, the, the, the sheriff shows up. The sheriff. Not just any cop, not a rookie. The sheriff. Sheriff of our town. And he gets so mad at these parents and stuff, he, he's not even really listening to them. And I'm being as respectful as I can, telling him the story and stuff. And the parents, they're swearing at him. And pretty much, they, 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 the parents, they, they say how I need to be punished or I need to be arrested. Now, keep in mind, I am 13 years old. So, I can't really be brought, in, brought to the clink. So, his parents, they, they're just super angry. The sheriff asked for both of our stories. I give them the honest answer, the parents lie mostly. Um, and then there was a case where when the kid came back, uh, me and my friends, we, we told him to kill himself because he, uh, he was a loser and he, he thought he was tough. Now his parents, they he told him, he told the parents. So the sheriff asked me, he goes, alright, be honest, did you, did you tell this kid to kill himself? And all my friends say no, and me. And then my friend's little brother goes, Yeah, you guys did? And it, we're just in there like, Ryan, shut up. But luckily the sheriff didn't hear him. So after that, we, uh, me and my friends, we went back up into my friend's room. And we watched the parents still argue with the sheriff. And the sheriff, actually, he, uh, he ends up just kind of telling them off, telling them they, they need to calm down. Finally, he leaves, and the parents are still mad at me. They're not getting up. They're yelling at me from three floors down. They're yelling at me, saying, what a bad kid I am. And pretty much, um, 
The kid gets a scooter. He breaks his own scooter, then blames it on me. And then I, I had gotten... I went home after this. And his mom, she had threatened to go to the school and actually find me and, like, warn teachers or something. This kid doesn't go to my school. He doesn't... He is even... Um, he's not even in my age group. He, he's like, he was like 12. Uh, he didn't go to our school. And his, his mom was just trying to find some way to get me in trouble. And she, she hasn't showed up to school yet, but she probably will. And the school can't really do anything about it. So still this day, it, uh, my friend's worried that if I ever come over that her neighbors are going to try to kill me. And that quite that might possibly be true, but this kid, whew, he was a pain. And then he tried to spit on me, he tried to do all these things. But long story short, the officer ended up siding with me because I was being respectful. Now, if you guys want to hear a tip, be respectful to the cops, and you, it's like a pass. If, if you're nice, super respectful, the cop will be like, all right, I believe you. He's not just going to be like, oh, I don't believe you at all if you're being super nice. No, no. So if you keep doing this, well, not keep talking to cops and stuff. Let's hope you're not talking to the cops. Just, just keep in mind that respect is the best way to get out of a problem. So that's probably going to be it for you guys. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to the story about this crazy kid. Uh, I might put a picture up maybe in the video if I actually I don't think I can do that I'm not gonna do that but uh thank you guys for watching uh, that was my story of the angriest kid ever and I really appreciate you guys watching uh, so like and subscribe and